Alright guys, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be going over Sir Seal's C3 gameplay. He's playing on the PC and he's playing some the Ranked 2's gameplay. So we're going to check it out, see what his mistakes are. Um, he makes a few mistakes he said and he wants me to point them out in the video. So we're going to take a look at this gameplay. Uh, just a regular good kickoff. He should have. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. This is threes gameplay, not twos. I'm not sure why I said two v twos. He missed that boost though in the beginning. Not a big deal. He kind of cut back, which may uh, kind of get him in trouble here. Um, as flex does get a touch out the middle, you get bumped. Unfortunate. Should be an easy touch. Okay. Not not a big deal yet. I love this play right here. You had a great play so far. You touched the ball in front of you so you can get the next touch for free. And what I'd like to see you do from here is probably either pass it to flex. I, honestly, your only option is to pass to flex because they probably have the save if you go left with it. Um, and it looks like you're kind of hitting it to flex. This is a great play. Uh, just a weak, weak pass, and I'm sure you know that right there. You had a good opportunity to pass. Um, just a little weaker than you'd like. Uh, you were looking to challenge the ball, so you had to... Okay, that's nothing on you there. You tried to challenge the ball or kind of rush the rush the shot. Um, but that's not on you. Your teammate kind of missed that one, so... All right, this is a good hit from him. Um, good cut there. Make sure he didn't get the next touch. Way to rotate back. He didn't have anything else. Um, good touch by Daywalker. Way to come in there quick and hit it around him instead of trying to go for a shot and getting blocked. Great job. You're waiting on the opposite side. Good positioning here. This is a great opportunity. Uh, not a great shot, but you did have not much time. So, I mean, overall, it was good positioning and just could have maybe been a little bit better of a shot, but pretty good so far. Uh, that's coming into... Okay, right there. I feel like that was a pretty obvious uh, mistake. And we're going to go back and kind of take a look. So right here, they all commit. You know Daywalker has this hit. There's no way you don't know Daywalker has this hit. He's already boosting straight at the ball. Um, so you have two options here. You either, well, no matter what, this is not an option. You just don't go for this ball. Um, but one of the two options is you push left because you know he's going to get a hit. And you can push left and try to get a pass that way. Or you can rotate back to net thinking that flex might go up. So it's really not a big decision which one of those two you would have done. Obviously, you didn't do either one. You challenged that ball, and you kind of double commit. It wasn't a great play. but All right, so right here, you're taking advantage of an open shot. This is great. You saw. Let's go back and take a look at this for some of the viewers out there. Um, right here, you can tell that Jaxter is probably either going to pinch this straight in the air or he is going to miss it. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. I got a discord message and I was reading that real quick. So right here, you can tell that he's either going to pinch this ball straight onto the ceiling and it's going to come back down. Um, and it's going to be an easy shot for you, or you can tell he's going to miss, um, because he's coming straight up at the ball. Sorry about the messages on the top left. So you took a great advantage of that there and you got a good shot. Uh, you're heading for this one. Um, you get a good 50. I mean, not a big deal. It kind of comes to your side a bit. Your teammate kind of got a weak touch. but That should be an easy clear for you or a hit at least. You kind of, right here, I guess this is not a big, big ordeal, but I would like to point it out. So right here, you started pushing straight at the net. Uh, I would like to see you flip like Trafcore. If you see on the left, Trafcore, the enemy, um, the opponent. You want to kind of follow that route and go around the back post. And I'm sure you know that. Um, it's just a bad habit. Because right here, you kind of put yourself in a bad position if Jaxter was ready for that hit. So now you're pushing this ball. Um, kind of a rough touch. Yeah. So I'm sure you know this is kind of a mechanical mistake here. But... Right here, I think you just tried to play it around him so you didn't get blocked, which would have been a great idea. Unfortunately, you hit that ball out to the middle, kind of a mistouch, and that guy takes advantage of it. All right, so you're going to hit left here. Um, miss boost. Make sure you hit that boost. It is losing a lot of time when you do the, you miss these boosts. You've missed two so far, so 
it, it doesn't seem to be like a, just a you know accidental. I mean, it's accidental, but it doesn't seem to be like a occasional thing because it's happened two times in less than two minutes of gameplay. So just make sure you're hitting those boosts. Um, honestly, um, focus a little bit more on where you're going. Um, you have pretty good awareness so far, so I do like that. Right here is a good idea to push this ball, give him some pressure. Great block there. All right, that was that was an all-around great gameplay. Um, I would like some people to go back and watch that and understand that you do need to apply pressure at pretty much all times in the game. Let's actually take a look because that play alone kind of gave you this goal. So right here, you see Trafcore is going to have a hit. He's going to try to take it slow and around you, it looks like. So you going for this forced him to try to hit it hard in around you and you got a great block to mid midfield and really just an awesome uh play by you there so great gameplay so far looks about c3 gameplay right here okay so you made a mistake here and i'm sure you know it you hit it left great great kickoff right there's no nothing up for here for you i don't know where you're going you have one boost and you know they've already taken that boost. You saw there was no boost there. Hey, I'm sorry about all these dings. Uh, Discord is going off today, it seems like. A lot of people are messaging, so I'll probably put a little uh, box up there so you don't see any of the messages and don't have to worry about them. But... So, yeah, I, I honestly, on those kickoffs, when you're pushing past with zero boost, no point in doing that. Rush back right away, grab some pads. Uh, great positioning right now, though. Way to cut that off. Um, put some pressure on the opposing team. Uh, you tried to just get some pressure there. It looked like you didn't really have much motive uh, where you were putting that ball, which isn't a big deal. But All right, you okay? You got lucky there, but I would like to say that this is never a good idea. You and When you backed up here, um, if Flex wouldn't have bailed you out, you were 150% going to get scored on. So you need to make sure you're either challenging that ball right away or honestly, you need to do a half flip back because you're completely out of position there when you're backing up. They can just flip it over to you on the opposite side of whatever way you're kind of facing. It's really easy to score against the guys that's backing up basically, so try not to be in that situation as well. Kind of bumped your teammate there. Not a big deal, though. You're going to grab this boost. Uh, he's got the hit. Kind of a good pinch out. You could kind of probably cut your teammate there, but I think in that situation it was all right. You were kind of in a rough situation. Let's just see what happened here. I don't I don't really uh, recall what kind of took place. So right here, uh, so honestly, you kind of got cut there. Um, I guess the one thing I would have probably done differently um, is maybe take a look at your teammate on the left before you, as or before you jump, or listen for his boost and know that he's going up and he's going to get the touch. But it is a double commit, and you kind of get screwed over here because Flex should not still be up. He could have easily rotated back by now, um, and then he just kind of bumps you. So, Not a big mistake by you there. Um, just kind of an unfortunate gameplay. All right, right here, it looks like you're going to take a kickoff, and it's going to come middle. This is a great chance for Walker. Nope, he kind of missed that couple misses there not a big deal you kind of had great positioning kind of waiting for the ball um let's go back right here usually challenging um the opposing team like this is never going to work uh if they're good players they're going to beat you to this ball every single time so honestly rotating back here is the better option um as you had kind of had no play for this ball so just kind of recognizing situations like that um the one thing you did do is kind of force an air as you were kind of on top of him or kind of making him play a little bit faster maybe than he wanted to, so it's not a big deal. Uh, right here, you're kind of going back to net, which is good. Uh, they got a good smackdown. You passed it over. Right here, not a bad play. You kind of took it slow. Kind of just mis misjudged the bounce there and you didn't get a great dribble. Way to let your teammate have the ball. You kind of looked around. You had a good awareness there. 
Uh, overall, you've had some pretty good awareness. Uh, it looks like it's helped you out a couple times already this game, so. Way to stay aware. And that, okay, I want to go over this. This is a great turn here. You, you you ignored that boost completely, which I don't know many C2, C3 players that will ignore boost like that. So, really good play here to just turn for this ball instantly and start the challenge. You stole this guy's boost, and you get a touch on this ball in the middle. Well, it looks like you're not going to get much of a middle touch, but you had the right idea. You just kind of missed the execution on the pass. Uh, great play, though. Way to turn around right there. So far, this has been really uh, solid rotational ability. Great save. Um, way to rotate back quick so you could get to that ball. So you could have maybe recognized earlier that that was coming across, but not a big deal. Right there. You're kind of so right here. You're kind of following your teammate. Just not a big deal, but. See how you just kind of followed him to that corner and backed up at the same time as him? One, he needs to go for it, but unfortunately he didn't. So I'm hoping one of you turn instantly right here and try to get a touch on this ball. Looks like you do, and that's good. Uh, way to stay up on that wall. Right now, it looks like he's just kind of ball chasing with you. Um, by now, I guess you can try to figure out your teammate's play style and notice that he is doing that a lot. Try to you know, keep that awareness you've had going this entire game. Um, and make sure you kind of see where he's at on the field. Uh, you missed boost there again. So that's three missed boost this game, I believe, at least. So make sure you're, you know, taking the time to hit that boost. I know it is honestly hard when you're trying to play fast and you're kind of uh, worried about getting to the ball before the opposing team. A pretty good shot there and almost, almost went crossbar in. So, I make this mistake a ton. I think they're going to play smart, and they're not. Like, Trafcore right there, honestly, this was a bad play by him. Uh, you had the right idea to wait on this. There's no reason Trafcore should turn for this ball. You know you have the beat. There's absolutely no reason for him to go for this ball. So, of course, he goes for the ball. Um, but looking around there and keeping that camera angle um, or your awareness going would be huge to make sure he's not coming around the corner right there and beating you to that touch. And what I've recognized in the past, you know, couple minutes is you've got ball chasing teammates, um, and not good ball chasing teammates at all. These are, these are very ball chasing, uh, just average ball chasing teammates. So you need to be careful and play a little extra safe. Um, just basically make sure you're being aware of what they're doing at all times. Uh, you just kind of made a mechanical mistake there. You had 25 boost. You could have made the hit. Uh, it's a good, good play right there. Kind of got a 50 to their side or your side. That's fine. I usually don't like this play going for their boost, but it seems to be okay right there as you had two guys back. So it wasn't like you had two guys up. It was all right. All right. So here, I think you just confused the hell out of your teammates. So let's take a look. So you already have two over there. No reason to start pushing this. You're already too far, um, but you already, you drove over here for some reason. So. No reason to push this. You're still pushing it, kind of. Now everybody gets confused. You're just kind of in people's way. You're just kind of being useless. So you need to stay into in the net there. You were in the net originally, and then you pushed out and kind of just followed what Flex and Daywalker were doing. Kind of waste of, well, boost and just caused a lot of confusion. Um, nothing really there for you. It's a pretty good passing play if anyone was up for him. Um, and he finishes it off himself, which is good. Um, overall, that was a really good gameplay, Cersei. I hope you got, uh, learned a little bit um, from... Well, I hope everyone, I hope you guys learned a little bit from that gameplay. Uh, it was pretty dang good gameplay for a C3 player. Uh, he did do a lot of things right and just a few things wrong. Uh, you definitely have Grand Champ um, kind of positioning and close enough to uh, having Grand Champ awareness in my mind. I think your mechanics are somewhat off on the wall, so maybe work on some wall mechanics. Um, coming off that wall and getting the touches uh, that you want 
Uh, I think he struggled a little bit there. And then obviously picking up some boost pads and maybe playing a little bit too fast for your own good because that's why you were kind of missing some of those boost pads. But your awareness was pretty good. Um, there was a couple times where you could have moved your you know camera around and saw something that you didn't. Uh, but overall, really good gameplay. I can see that you're going to probably hit GC maybe this season. Um, but no matter what, if you continue this gameplay, you're going to hit it next season. I, I, I think you'll hit it this season, honestly. But uh, great gameplay. I hope a lot of you guys learned what you need to do as a C3 player to hit that GC uh, stamp. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have a 100 key giveaway going on in the Discord right now. It's in the description to join that Discord giveaway. Make sure you join the link in the description. Um, and I hope you guys like this video and subscribe. I appreciate everyone coming out today to watch the video. This is your boy Graphic, and I'll catch you guys later.